Mr. Chairman. Thank you for the opportunity given to me to comment upon the budget submitted to this house. Sir, I had opportunity to hear the Her Excellency President and the Honorable Finance Minister respectively in the presidential address and the budget. Sir, past two days, Parliament has witnessed heat arguments and accusations. Even allegations were serious in nature, made against, as against the Prime Minister, for, for the reasons best known to the Treasury benches, the allegations that have been made by the opposition strongly have not been refuted. The status of the allegation in the absence of, in the, absence of the refute, I think that it will stand as true. Yes. What the Treasury benches is going to give a news to the nation, I do not know. What type of message this will send to the nation? Sir, first time I have come across a irony in the parliament. Two friends were brought into the opposite pole by rising slogans. When the Prime Minister starts his speech, my friends from the Treasury benches used to say, Modi, Modi, Modi. When allegations are being leveled as against the Prime Minister, the same time or simultaneously, the opposition benches started to say, Adani, Adani, Adani. <laughs> Is it not an irony that two friends were part apart, <laughs> opposite side. side, and slogans were raised? What type, of, what type of message is going to send to the people where the Prime Minister claims as if he is enjoying confidence, patronage, protection and trust of the 140 people, pro people? How he can claim 140? Sir, they are having 310 or 320 pre-poll alliance, remaining almost 200 non-BJP. Almost 200 people are not in consonance with the allegations or in consonance with the celebrations you made in the parliament. 250, not just 200. At least 200 to 15. Roughly you calculate. Each and every member of parliament. I asked Supriya. 70% is non She says she is, represent, she, she is being represented by 20 lakh. 23. 23 lakh. My friend from Kashmir says 30 lakhs. Another friend says Gaurav Goge. He says... 25 lakhs. So, averagely we put it 20 lakhs. Don't wait, wait, 20 lakhs. 200, 200 members of parliaments not representing you, not accepting you. But you are claiming trust for 140 people. Is it not a. Is, is it. No, 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 no. That is, that is, no, no. That, that, that is official, constitutional. He is not telling I am representing the people. He is telling I am enjoying the confidence. I am enjoying the patronage. I am enjoying the protection. Rajaji, no, Rajaji, you are addressed to the no, chair. The state the president is with the Prime Minister as if he is enjoying 140 crore people confidence is nothing but a diabolical contrivance. <laughs> Sir, coming to the budget, I am neither I am a, I am an expert in the financial diligence nor an, in physical consolidation. Yet, I want to submit that this budget gave some disappointments, not only to me, to the people, those who are living in the lowest ebb of the social and economical order in the country. I'll come to one by one. Most of the, no, most of the media and most of the televisions are showering encomium upon the Prime Minister and the government. The reason is known to everybody, no secret. They have been cumbered, they have been confined, otherwise they cannot run the media. That is the situation today. Coming to my disappointment, why I am disappointed? I want to synchronize. I try to synchronize my disappointment with the facts and figure. Sir, I am disappointed with the budget because the budget fails to live up the accept expectation of the people at large. My disappointments are on four counts. One, education. Two, health. 
three food and agriculture and fourth employment social security in order to address my time constraint i shortly state four that does not mean you are having every uh, jubilant uh, achievements in other field yesterday prime minister claims that we made the president of india from the tribal community sir i want to recall the words of ambedkar i quote he says it is easy to give power to a person but it is very difficult to give knowledge and wisdom simply because his excellency came from a tribal village i respect her i am having reverence on her but this government is having no right to claim that you are the savior of the tribals because the fact is always what are all the attempts that has been given by this government to give knowledge and wisdom to the tribal people to the scheduled caste to the underprivileged community for the disabled there is a provision in the budget which will bring knowledge which will bring education you have to teach them you have to create infrastructure is it in the budget what is your initiative on primary and secondary education you are no you are claiming that our allotment has been risen substantially i do accept but come to the primary and secondary education no doubt you enhance the allocation of higher education that does not mean this government is giving due attention for the primary education which is clubbed with the scheduled caste scheduled tribe and gullible masses of this country still budget is very silent on sc st and obc for primary and higher secondary education sir promise that has been made for the recruitment of 38000 teachers in yegalaiwa schools i appreciate i appreciate tribal schools but even not even a single new school for tribals has not been opened you are promising for 5 years 38000 teachers to be recruited but there is no school is it not a mockery that too you are calling it after yegalaiwa you know the story of yegalaiwa Yegalaiwa was compelled to give his thumb yes. <laughs> as a sudra since he got education. You are doing Yegalaiwa on one side, other side you are taking away the fingers of the Dalits and OBCs and Adivasis. Shame, shame. Is is it not a verbal juggler in your budget? Yes. Sure, sure. Sir, you are entitled to say yes. Legitimately, you are entitled to say thirteen percent of the substantial allegation has been enhanced in the budget. But what is the truth? What is the truth? certainly the hike is not sufficient if we keep in mind the need of public educational institutions and augmenting teaching and research on par with global standards don't go for merely figures even day yesterday the railway minister used to say for tamil nadu allocation nine nine times bigger than the allocation that was done in the 2009 you are isolated to the railway you go for general budget the amount of bulk of general budget numerical stand went 10 times when the total budget went 10 times you are saying that seven times bigger than this is it not a verbal jugglery is it not a joke is it not a mockery don't play this numerical game please sir coming to the so the, the allocation that has been made for the education is not at all uh, tell you the need of the people for the lowest low those who are living in the lowest ebb of the social order ultimately what happened the private educational institutions is going to loot the money and consequently purchasing power of the middle class is drastically going to be eroded finally i can say sir which is no doubt the promise that has been given continuously for 9 years that this government is going to give 6% gdp for education this is a ninth year your assurance has not been kept alive you did not achieve your assurance 6% of gdp was not done so as far as the education is concerned my disappointment is true you cannot refute it sir coming to the second point health what happened to health pm celebrated himself vaccination of covid vaccination of covid this is because of science it is because of science not by you does it mean to say you tackled the epidemic when it was in peak 
That is our achievement. I can dare challenge none of the ministers in this government visited any hospital during the epidemic. None of the chief ministers visited any one of the hospital. My leader, M.K. Stalin, doctor, person, chief minister, when he was an opposition leader, wear the medical dress and went to Corona ward, touched the people and gave assurance, don't worry, I will be there. He's the only leader available in the entire world, I can say. You are not coming out at the time of epidemic. And now you are climbing tallest jubilant momentum that we did vaccination, vaccination, vaccination. You see, sir, wait, 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 sir. Sir, I, I want to recall the evidence. During the epidemic, sir, do, sir, no, no. So the question is, sir, sir, interruption, interruption. Sir, the question is whether the prime minister or the health minister, why, why the former health minister was said, you know the answer better. The epidemic situation was not at all handled properly, medically, prudently. Yes. That is our charge. Yes. No preparatory measures in terms of medicine, in terms of bed, in terms of doctors, in terms of nurses, and not even in terms of oxygen cylinders were not done properly. That is the status. No ventilator at all. Nation has come across thousands of thousands of dead body, even without civilized burial. Yes. Yes. That is your performance of the government. What you did? What you did at last? Handle the, light the handle, light the handle, candle, candle, light the candle. Is it the science uh, scientific temper to uh, establish? Oh. <laughs> Sir, I come to after the COVID. Leave it. You you got the vaccination now, but two thirty million Indian pushed into poverty due to the COVID. How much? Two thirty million. What is your solace for them? Nothing. What you did? I think that no solace was given to them. Sir, coming to the national one minute. Sir. What is the data says? NFHS data says out of COVID, 35 percentage of students were stunned. 32 per percentage were underweight, yet no rise in the budgetary support this year. No attempt has been made to equip yourself right from primary health center up to district hospitals to withstand before another epidemic if comes. Sir, your announcement of 557 nursing colleges, nursing schools, 157, uh, 157 sorry, 157 nursing schools were announced in the budget. It is being celebrated exorbitantly, but without any proper care, when the structural problem is there, this 157 nursing schools will not serve any purpose, take it granted. Right. What is hard to digest is National Health Mission Allotment this year declined 500 crores, 500 crores cut in the National Health Mission Allotment. What is the answer? National livelihood mission, 150 crores reduced. Total disappointment in health. Then coming to my third chapter, agriculture. Good health is associated with agriculture. What is your earlier promise? This government will make double term income in the agriculture arena. In 2020. In 2000, within 2022. Now we are standing in 2023. Is it double? Where is your promise? You are climbing substantial rise in capex. Always they are saying, no, capital expenditure alas, is more, more, more substantial. 7.5 lakhs. But see the agric agriculture. Utter neglect. Utter neglect. Out of 7.5 lakh crore of the capex, capex, you are not spending 120 crore for crop and animal husbandry. Millets became the menu of the prime minister in the public domain. Millet came to the central hall. Today, lunch, my lunch was millet. We are celebrating millet. Where is the budget provision? 1 crore, 2 crore, 3 crore for millet? No. Allegation for irrigation dwindled down from 350 crore to 310 crore for this current year. Attractive caption in the budget, finance minister used, I quote, agriculture accelerator fund. 
agricultural accelerator fund i do not know where is the accelerator where is the clutch <laughs> numerical figure is missing this agricultural accelerated fund is on the budget paper but you are going for the budget estimate there is no allocation there is no allocation who is going to be cheated people or opposition or you are cheating yourself i do not know food storage and warehouse in the ministry of consumer affairs budget estimation reduced 90000 crore ministry of agriculture deprived 8000 crore when it is compared with the last year budget estimation i can go on but in short health nutrition agriculture sectors are being undermined and as such my disappointment became true sir now i come for employment and social security sir two minutes one more one more head yeah, sir fin sir finance minister claims in the budget i quote investment in infrastructure and productivity cap cap capacity have a large multiplier impact on growth and employment and and then one quote this is the line of the budget she reiterated in the press conference that the job creation and the control of inflation will be taken by the huge infra infra investment in infrastructure i do admit there is a substantial exponential allotment in the infrastructure but what is the truth the increase in capex in the infrastructure are to a larger extent in highways and railways am i correct so far as you are giving the huge money to the railways and highways which is being run which is being used as capital high intensive technology for their building will have very small wages component when there is a small wages component you are saying this much of one crores of crores is being pumped wages component is not even 0001% how can you create job why you are making something so naive i am not able to understand sir much has been taken spoken about narega i do not want to touch more 20000 crore has been tundled down cut off out of narega this year 20000 crore cut off 30000 uh, maybe 30000 or 20000 okay but what is the, what is the report pa pa eg people action for employment guarantee the actual need according to this association scientific report we need 271000 crore for this year to satisfy the all people the need is 2 lakh already you reduced to 30 crore now it is only 60000 who is going to fill up the gap sorry gulf who is going to fill up the gulf i do not know please look at the nsap national social assurance program most important program for aged orphanage people widow and disabled the allegation the, the, the allegation that has been tumbled down 10% more sir you are supposed to guided by the gujarat model because sir sir 2 minutes gujarat sir 2 minutes i finish sir gujarat model gujarat model you are entitled to say am i not entitled to say what is the gujarat model you are applying here what is the fruitful result please go for that our chief minister explain what is the dravidian model being run in government in front of the prime minister in terms of new employment opportunity social security measures we need or not at all we leave the, the, the issues are not at all viewed and addressed properly by this government sir yesterday during the question hour i come across i give a simple example and go on for other final conclusion the quick attention of this house bpl ratio yesterday question hour gujarat this year gujarat 22% up 31% i cannot read all other states whereas tamil nadu 14 kerala 10 this is dravidian model which model this country is going to prefer please decide sir now i am for concluding very sensible point in concluding within one minute sir i am concluding my speech with the wound and pain with a confidence that the heel and soles will come near future i have come across today question hour what has happened today question hour minister used to give the answer last question by which the funds allocated last year 1810 crore for minorities welfare together as umbrella program this year it has been tumbled down mere 600 crores what type of message will send to the people for minorities sir it is unfortunate that the voices are being raised not by common man by the constitutional occupants that the basic structure of the constitution going to be amended has to be amended it is very dangerous for minorities 
Sir, one letter I will quote, I will finish. Sir, Kesavanandi Bharati case, 1972, by which the basic structure of the constitution has been protected. Who argued? Huh? Uh, 73, maybe 72, maybe. You take it 73. Sir, uh, 68 days, 68 days arguments were advanced before the constitutional court's larger bench, 13 judges. Who argued before the court? The famous lawyer, Balkiwala. Balkiwala argued the case. Nani Balkiwala. Palkiwala. Palkiwala. He argued the case. He saved the basic structure of the constitution. When the basic structure of the constitution was saved, Prime Minister was Indira Gandhi. Sir, one quote I quote and then finish. Nani Palkiwala used to write the Prime Minister after the judgment. I can give the date. 9th November 1976, 75. 9th November, 9th November 1975, I quote. Letter to the Indra Gandhi Prime Minister by Balkiwala. The basic step to the constitution is the real safeguard for minorities. They are bound to feel grave apprehension at the prospect of the back health alterable. Today we saved the basic structure. How many of your success are? Please give attention. How the line says, how many of your success are will share your own exemplary non-communal outlook? And unquote. Thank you. Sir, finish it. Non-communal outlook he wanted from the Prime Minister Indira Gandhi for his successors also. Today, today, minorities, my, sir, I finished. Minorities, minorities fund has been printed down. Sir, 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 one thing. Please, I fold that hand. I am begging for the Treasury benches. Prime Minister is not here. But I am begging. Save the constitution, which first line says, We the people of India. Thank you. Don't don't re reread. We the people of India. Thank Hindu you very much. Thank you. Sri Jaidev Gallaji.